I can't think of Jeff Minter without the word legend in my head. He's been around the industry for many years and still makes artful games that have influenced a great number of people. I always found Jeff and his games fascinating because, you know, Jeff was so distinct and it's just, like, just so unlike anyone else. And it's one of the true, like, originals, like, one of the true iconoclasts in gaming. Like, there's no one else like him. Like, if Jeff didn't exist, you'd have to invent him, right? Because someone has to, someone has to be that guy. There aren't enough people like Jeff. He is in his things. What, it, what he makes is him. What, what makes Jeff stand out, and, and, and what for me was the whole point of, of um, the artistry when I was younger was this notion that it's it's a it's you in the thing. It is an Thank <laughs> you. 
when I was in school. I dabbled in lots of various things. I got a skateboard, and I was a skater for a while, really enjoyed that. I wasn't even aware of the link between computers and video games, really. And it's only because I walked into this room one day in college, and there's one guy sat down the end with this weird thing which looked like a, a telly on top of a typewriter keyboard. He appeared to be playing some kind of crude game on it, and I went and was a bit curious, went over and asked him, where did that game come from? And he said he typed it in. That was, that was the moment that completely changed my life. I really enjoyed the act of programming. I, I thought that I'd finally found something that I actually had some kind of genuine aptitude for. But out of the whole sixth form college, we only had one machine, which was a Commodore Pen. So yeah, they, they've got this guy building on what he's done before, trying new things. I don't think he'll be trying to figure out a formula or a, or a, a grand design that, that um, evolves. It'll all be instinct. His gut will be telling him, oh, I'm going to try this. And then there is that lovely holy moment where it all joins together into one thing. And, and for Jeff, that was Grid Runner. It was sort of like Centipede. It was based off Centipede. But I'd got to the point where I enjoyed putting my own spin on things. I was no longer content just to try and, and copy an arcade game. I wanted to do something else. I like the idea of the, the shooting things, creates obstructions which then alter the path of things to...
like living in the countryside. I ended up buying this little house in Wales, in this beautiful little valley. I was to have a bit of space for beasties, really. Most potty years. You know, I like to keep pet sheep. When you're getting stressed out in front of the machine and you're indoors all day, and uh, it's so nice just to be able to like go out and take a stroll in the field. You can't really be stressed out around sheep. Morning, Jerry. Like Minter will like go off to you know, feed the sheep in the morning and do a nice 10 minute long Twitter video of him just feeding crackers to his sheep. I'm sure you've seen Jeff's legendary sheep time videos that he does. You know, just let's go out and mooch with the sheep in the morning. Well, we can stream it from anywhere on the farm because we've got a Wi-Fi network all across the fields.
I like going to the Play Expo because it's really nice. People just come up and uh, we can hang out and play some games. Yeah, to me, it's a great privilege when I meet people who actually enjoy the stuff that much. I think it's quite something when you meet somebody and they still remember playing Buddy Attack and the Mutant Camels or Grid Runner and they'll tell you how much they enjoyed it. I mean, the fact that they still remember it after all these years is one thing, but that she'll seek you out and tell you about it is entirely another. One of the lovely things about meeting Jeff is that you could walk up to him and be kind of like, hi, I'm going to talk to you about your games and effectively your work for half an hour. And he's just kind of like, yeah, let's talk about the Jaguar. Let's talk about this. Here's a project I've tried to make that never got finished. I've always enjoyed that. One of the things I enjoyed in the old days was going with Llamasoft to the old 8-bit computer shows. The Llamasoft stand was like, you know, it was like Mecca to all of us lot. It was just like, what's new, what's new, we've got to go and find Jeff's stand. And you'd find, you'd see it from miles away. <laughs> you know that's going to be Jeff's stand, because like, there's this huge plushy sheep on top of the booth.
I think Jeff has a fascinating history with Atari. There's no escaping the fact that Atari have been an incredibly important part of Jeff's career. I mean, obviously Jeff has a huge soft spot for Tempest. It's sort of about those glowing analog color vectors that's just absolutely stunningly beautiful, especially when compared to the other artwork of the other vast artwork of the day when it was crude and blocky and, and, and not very satisfying to look at this thing just was a, a thing of beauty in and of itself and it made a deep impression on me Jeff obviously is brilliant, like he's still doing that thing, he's still doing the games. People remember Llamasoft and the long history and people sometimes forget that there are two of us here and you know, these games aren't just Jeff Minter games anymore, it's Llamasoft and Llamasoft is the pair of us. But it was getting to the point where you need more than one person to do your stuff really. When Giles first came along, it was at exactly the right time. So they, they'd met and they'd become friends online and got chatting and obviously realised that there was a lot in common because Giles is, you know, is a, a complete ninja coder. One thing we have in common with Jeff, I will say, we have an idea in mind. We both like to see it becoming something tangible, something you can touch it or play with it or feel it. Uh, for Jeff, it was mostly software. For me, it's also about hardware. Giles is almost as eccentric and unique as Jeff is, but in a, his own special way. Jeff is the kind of person that can solve things in a way that probably most people would not, using unconventional methods maybe, but he gets things done. Huh? 